Hello everybody and welcome back to Vervain's Arcadia. I'm Dee, I'm pretty new to gaming and I'm having a lot of fun learning all sorts of stuff about Minecraft. Today we're here starting off in the nether so I'm a little nervous. I'm in a crimson forest biome. I did not think this through but I also don't want to dig out another space so here we be. I did uncover an ancient debris while in this old place up but this elusive block is precisely what we're after today and you see let's see in here I already have a bunch I came down here late at night recently I kept going mining for ancient debris and that's because I'm gonna set up a tunnel bore uh, this design is a miniature design, uh, and yeah, as always, the video is going to be linked down in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and start building on these units. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh god! That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I think it's time to test this out. I think... I think everything has been done. Before we start this, has anybody else noticed that... At least, I feel like all of the YouTubers who do, like, commentary lists, redstone tutorials use the same music. It's kind of funny, actually. Anyways, let's give this note block a tap. Um, okay. You know what I just realized? It's because there are too many blocks. Dang it! You know what? I'm not good enough at flying machines yet to do this. So, let's try. Just the two wide one. It's fine, it's fine. I'm getting, I'm getting better, right? And that's the whole point. That's all we can ask. Okay, let's try this now. Aha! There we go. Ah, and it didn't break anything up. Okay. Okay. And then again. Possibly. Excuse. It worked once. It worked once. I literally just left this piston right here. Out. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty sure this should work this time. Give it a go. That's more like it. We all know I'm a little dumb sometimes, so... You know what? And you should be able to hit it every four to five seconds, they say. Um, you can see I've actually lowered it down. I completely rebuilt it and lowered it. Um, and that's... According to the comments on the YouTube video gonna make it less likely that we run into lava lakes which I'm all here for now this is becoming a more chill activity <laughs> like I, I still have to worry about mobs I think is like my biggest worry but like I can keep half an eye on this and just kind of click along and also you know watch a show or do some stuff that I need to get done or whatever you know Great. All right, there we go. 24 more netherite scraps. And then we just come over here and do something kind of like this. Awesome, six more netherite ingots. I think that's awesome. And we already have, let's see. If we crack open my old wallet here, you can see we already have seven netherite ingots here and not only that, but we did get, let's see, where is it? Here it is, the netherite block mini block, which was another nine ingots. And so that means, let's see, 13 plus nine is 22 minus the one that was already here. Yeah, so I have made like 21 netherite ingots in the last few days. All right, here's the thing I want to do. I think. I have a bunch of netherite and now I'm chickening out about it. But 
I think because we're updating to 1.20 in like a relatively short amount of time, Netherite's going to be harder to upgrade. Now, we are on an awesome server where we share a lot of things, and I know there's already plans to have, like, an armor trims library, and since I think the netherite update thing is, like, a similar thing, I imagine there will be, like, sharing going on with that as well. But, I kind of want to make a backup set of netherite gear. That's just kind of what I'm thinking, and I've got, like, I've got 13 ingots, so, like, I definitely should upgrade you know, the tools that I haven't upgraded yet. Basically, my tools that aren't silk touch. Oh, and my hoe. You know what? Let's go, let's go upgrade this hoe right now. Let's pop that there, and pop that there, and there we go. And... <laughs> That's one of those, uh, big ones, apparently. Alright, so with that out of our system, we have... 12 more tools and pieces of gear that we can make with our current amount of uh, items. Ingots. Another it ingots. That's the word. Now, I've collected materials for a shulker farm. They're in these three boxes, and we will be getting to that shortly. But there's a couple of things that we need to uh, get going first. Our first stop is here at the shopping district, and it is for a very special reason. See, a little bit ago, we had... A bit of an incident that happened here on the server and well Pearl's younger sibling this one's for you Pearl was telling me the other day about how their sibling uh, brought up that uh, coca-cola originally had y cocaine in it you know thus the uh, coke part and well there may be an evil witch around who did some things with some similarly questionable substances that, funnily enough, can be turned into a caffeinated beverage. If some uh, nefarious dealings went on in back alleyways, well. And as you can see, this is being made with genuine evil witch powder. We don't cut corners around here in evil witch company. While this alleyway continues being designed, we shall leave it for this, but we've switched out our Evil Witch Powder for some genuine witch cola And we've also got a bit of floating bottle action. I feel like there should be an actual little tiny vending machine stand thing selling witch cola Okay, the next thing we need to do before we can start a shulker farm, the shulker farm, and this is an actual thing that we need to do, Oh, fingers crossed it actually puts me out in the overworld and, like, not down in a cave somewhere. Oh, thank goodness. It's nighttime, but we can fix that. Okay, here we are, all ready to go on our merry way because, and you know what, this is the closest. We're not going to fly it, we're going to boat it so that I actually have a place that I can get to because this is the closest island to it or landmass at all. Oh, it's right there. Alright, we're just going to step back here just a teensy teensy bit. We're going to drink invisibility and water breathing. shoo ba doo ba doo ba doo And shoo ba doo ba doo ba doo We're going to take the totem out of our hand and all of these away. Ha! Huh. Look at me, I'm invisible. And we'll boat a little bit closer so that we can make a quick getaway if we need to. I think we'll be fine. But basically, what we need to do is get rid of the Elder Guardians so that we don't have to deal with mining fatigue. Well, there's one right there. Let me just go... Shoop. Shoop. And down. And shoop! And shoop! And shoop! And shoop! And we're gonna have to get rid of mining fatigue anyways. Gosh, die already, my dude. There we go. Oh, I got another Guardian head. Look at that. Alrighty. Well, I have mining fatigue now, so that's unfortunate. I also don't have... Like... Oh, there's the next dude. Alright, thorns in. Cool, cool. Oh, thorns out. Alright. Can you put your thorns in, sir? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Cool, 
cool. We got those. I will take a sponge. Thank you. And now we need to basically go over to the other side. And there's the third guy. Nice. Just right away. Okay. That was too easy. Like, there should be more. Oh, there's a sponge room? Perfect. We'll grab those later when we uh, don't have mining fatigue. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is going to be the hard part is getting back out. All right. Oh, there's the hole that I made. I'm just blind. I've been doing some mappings so that I can know exactly where I need to build all of my farms. Okay, we have our shulker farm spot. It is, I think, sufficiently far enough away from the guardian farm that we shouldn't have any guardians spawning or er, bothering us while we're working on it. We should fit within our own spawn sphere. Uh, and we should also be able to fit both farms in the same spawn sphere as well. So that's pretty cool, I think. Now, well, I'm going to get to building, and I'll see you all later. Well, and suddenly we go from that to, uh, having a very active and working shulker farm. It was quick to build up, but, uh, as I'm sure is always the case, transporting the shulker was a bit of a pain. Oh, God! I put him in the wrong spot. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. That happened. I can't push him off either. I can't. I can't. Uh. Oh. He's in. Ah, the potion wore off just in time to show off your pretty new skin. So pretty. Crap. It's built backwards. And... Badoop. Bye! Don't die! Oh no. Oh no. Well, that is the first mishap. Oh my gosh. Pearl's floating away. Oh crap. Um, he didn't stop. <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Um, I'm gonna try to... Ah! Gosh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I stopped it! Woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh crap! And he goes up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hits the activator rail, and I think he went straight on through. I don't think he even hit the block on the other side. Oh no, 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 no. Cool, cool. Awesome. Oh no. Badoop. Yay! <laughs> That's better. Oh, yep, he's in his spot. All right, now, then, all I need to do is... I can't reach it. Of course I can't. And I'm... A... Oh, yep, we did, We have we have duplication. Yay! And it... it... Oh, how did he get there? I didn't button those, I didn't button those spots. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Ah! Dang it, okay. Oh my gosh. They're like, it might take a few minutes for this to load. Mm-hmm. Yes, Paul, good job. Nice. Well, what have we learned, folks? <laughs> One, shulkers are much easier to deal with if you do uh, portals way high on the nether roof. Two, invisibility potions. And three, double check that you have every button in place. <laughs> yes! 
The power of friendship does defeat all foes, even screamy boxy ones. There isn't a guy in the 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 chamber thing. The mine carts are gone, that's why. But it okay, I got one on Boom. Not quite. Alright. Boom. Alright. Now you can shoot me all you want, buddies, but I'm out of here. But now we have this fantastically working farm. Um, which you can kind of see working here. This is, as I understand it, kind of the fairly standard shulker farm. Um, it's designed by ending credits and a number of other people. Um, and the tutorial's from MD, and I'm, as always, I'll link the video in the description. Um, it's projected to have a production rate of about 750 shells per hour. Um, in my observation, it's a little closer to a thousand shells per hour. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's it's kind of crazy. So the shulkers in here, uh, down, down another layer, down another layer. There we go. So the shulker for duplication is right in here. Um, and all the shulkers are shooting at snow golems down below and they duplicate zip in and out and yeah there's just so many at this point they were like it takes a few minutes to load up but it it, it was going at full capacity really heckin quick this is, this is what this is looking like. This area is a bit laggy, and I think we're definitely going to have to take out all of the kelp um, in this area. We will be working on the Guardian Farm later at another time. Um, and we'll also put in a raid farm here. I'd love ideas for other farms to put in as well. I'm kind of thinking about a spider farm because that's the one like mob drop that I don't have a farm for or plans to build a farm for. One thing I want to do just for kicks and giggles right now is uh, set up a cute little beachy area um, where we can have maybe a little bit of Potion brewing, for example, if we need to, you know, make invisibility potions to get to get in here um, and just like a cute little hangout area to welcome people through the portal. Okay, we have just a couple of more final touches to add to this really lovely little uh, beachy island. Let's see. We're going to add some coconuts to the palm tree. And then we want to add just like a vine or two to this little area, the bed area. When in doubt, always add more leaves. Ah yes, this is it. This is beautiful. I love it. I think with the last of our time today, we should do a little bit more of a server tour. We recently went and visited uh, the 1.16 uh, spawn area, which was the original world spawn, which I didn't realize, I, I'm pretty sure, which I didn't realize, um, when I was there. I, for some reason, thought it was 1.17, but no, that was 1.16. I don't know where 1.17 area is. So, it says to right-click the sign below for 1.17 spawn. Let's head over there. <gasps> Oh, that's cool. Diamond Gotham established the 6th day of July, 2021. It's funny because to me, uh, the old nether updates feel like ancient history because like I was never part of them. 1.16, 1.17, those feel like those should be so long ago. But no, 1.17, 2021, two years ago. Crazy. Oh, look at all of this. Look at, oh, look at this build. Oh, and there's a ship? I love the little mushroomy houses down here. Ooh, that dragon's cool. There's this amazing giant house here. Oh my gosh, look at some of these. Greenhouse? I'm a sucker for a good greenhouse. Let's take a look. And this, lo this looks more like it's somebody's base, but oh my gosh, yes. Oh my goodness, it's an underwater base. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute, though. Sector 2 agriculture. 
Sector E1 Transit. Yes, it's the whole library. I love it. Back to 1.18, everybody. Here we go. And home again. This is familiar territory. Well, thanks for coming along on today's many adventures. I hope you enjoyed them and had a generally fun time hanging around. If you did, please do give this video a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!